Today is the 20th anniversary of John Swartz passing away. When he taught meditation here, he often would begin by saying, give rise to an attitude of conviction and confidence. Conviction that the teachings are good. This is a good practice. Confidence that you can do it and that you'll benefit from it. He would also say, don't just go through the motions. When you pay attention to the breath, really pay attention to it all the way in, all the way out. Be strict with yourself. As for anything else that comes in, you can just let it go. It's not your responsibility right now. Your responsibility is looking after your mind. Because we spend so much time looking after the world. And then when we have time off, we say, well, I want my, my time for myself. But what do we do with our time for ourselves? Often we waste it. If you're really concerned about your time for yourself, you want to get your mind prepared. This is, they say in Thailand, when, when the teacher passes away, that's his final lesson of the Dharma. That we're all going to go there. And we don't need to be reminded that we're dying or that death is going to happen. But we need to be reminded that it can be done with skill or lack of skill. And our skill or lack of skill will really make a difference. So it's not just a matter of thinking about death, but how to think about death, how to prepare. And one of the ways you want to prepare is developing qualities of mindfulness and alertness. As the Buddha said, you want to be mindful and alert at the moment of death. And if you can't master those two things now, how are you going to do it when the body is slipping away and the mind can't stay in the body anymore? People around you are all upset. Now you've got some quiet time here. Focus on developing your mindfulness and your alertness. And of course, the Buddha would add another quality, which is ardency. Really mean to do this well. The more you have your mastery over the skill perfected, the easier it will be at that time. You can imagine writing yourself a letter at that time back to yourself now, saying, I wish I had done this, I wish I had done that. Well, take that seriously. What kind of things do you think you would wish you had done? And one of the things you will have wished you had done was develop the skills that enable you to deal with pain, separation, illness. And these are the skills we develop as we meditate. So give this a lot of attention. Be earnest in what you're doing. And over the long term, you'll be glad you did. And so practicing this way that we show our gratitude for John Suat. He founded this monastery. It wasn't the easy thing to do. He already had a monastery up in the town of Ontario, but he wanted a place that was really good for practice, a place where you could get out into nature and be face to face with yourself. And it didn't matter whether you were Thai or not Thai, man, woman, child, ordained or not. What matters is the earnestness of your practice, your sincere desire not to be overcome by your defilements and to see if you can follow the path of the Noble Ones and get to a point where you're beyond aging, illness, and death. So that was his intention, and we honor him following, by following through. <laughs>